the restaurant, about 110 years old, started off with a lady called Steffi and Eddie Walters. They had it for about 30 years, ran a German restaurant, sold it to Bill and Ruth Bloth. Bill and Ruth had it for 40 years and then sold it to me approximately 1999, which I kept the German, kept the German heritage living. And we served German foods, German beers, with German garbs such as our dirndls and our lederhosen, and we cheer large beer. How do we cheer? How do you cheer? Everyone now! Tee tie, tee tie, hi, hi, hi! Good job! five degree shop shots. Uh, in my scheme of things, I do 500 a month. I need to do a thousand a month to pay for this. Uh, last week we did 1800. <laughs> I don't have to tell you the numbers, is, it's gonna pay for itself very shortly. And uh, what we, our next venture is we're gonna take the swords, we're gonna lay them down here, and notice that all my shot glasses have snow rims. Okay, so what you end up doing is you get these nice frozen shots and these nice frozen glasses. Go ahead, Dick. Just a little snipper. This will make me sound better. How is it? Very nice. Very cool. We want to tell you we're serious about beer. That's the key. <laughs> That's so the big what we do. Yeah, you too. <laughs> what we do is the first thing we want to do is temper the glass. Tempering the glass means we want to get it down to the temperature. It actually cleans out any soap that might be in the air. Soap's the worst thing for beer because it'll kill the head. So now what happens is we go to the beer. They'll give me a key that identifies the server. The keys are numbered. They come downstairs, they give us their keys to their car. We give them a kiosk key. The kiosk key goes in there and it says, hello, Margaret. You work for Nick, and you're ready to run this machine because you just opened it. It's going to push a table number. It's going to push a beer. As soon as it does that, it's going to ring up on Micros. This machine is going to give me a Gruber report off your Micros. Today's world in America, getting the, the regular operation of beer in a bar or a service area, they average 37 and a half liters of beer out of every 50 barrel of beer. So there's 12 and a half liters of beer. That is, when they're cleaning it, they throw away two liters. They have to prime it and they pour beer away. Every beer, they watch and wait for the suds to go and go. So they're wasting 12 liters of beer, 12 liters of beer. Here, I probably can get 55 liters out of a 50 liter barrel. Five extra liters, because I'm gonna get 50 of those beer with a three inch head, that's gonna be perfect. It's going to pour, it's no waste. It just pours the perfect beer for you and it's going to get every liter out of every barrel. So if you want to do the math, and I did 89 barrels of beer this week, and I got 15 extra liters out of every one of those 89 barrels, and my liters are going for $12.99, then you know this machine is worth anything that you paid for. into uh, the walk-in, the beer box. And as we go in here, oh, it's jumping. Nice. All right, we're gonna make this one real quick. First of all, these are all my chill blocks. Uh, they run glycol through them, brings all my beer down to 32 degrees. Everything's got a 32 degree block here that keeps all my beer at 32 degrees, okay? Everything is pumped by the, by the pumps here, which are from Chill Right. They pump the beer, there's pressure, and we actually got a sight glass that tells us when the beer is out, okay? Bingo, it'll tell us. All the liquors that you've seen upstairs, came coming out at five degrees, are all turned upside down. I'm able to put about three and a half quarts of liquor in each well. And that shoots shots upstairs, and it goes through those chill blocks at what degree? Five degrees. Oh, <laughs> Five degrees. Okay. Not only that, 
My voice from Boober tells me there's only four of these operating right now because he hasn't got the license to do it in Germany. But these are called switch boys. They're, they tend to one barrel to another barrel. You run out of this, it switches to this without you knowing about it at the pump. Without wasting and priming and pouring out, you save beer. And that's what we're all about. Back in the day, you bought a barrel of Michelob for $19, you poured a few down the drain, no one gave a rat's banana. <laughs> but today, a barrel of beer costs me $140. And now, now if you can get that extra 5, 10, 15 liter, then all of a sudden now we're talking that this might be the time that this stuff might be kind of interesting. And interesting to large venues, such as uh, Yankee Stadium, uh, Madison Square, Rexler Field, where they're wasting, they're getting 19 and a half liters out of a 50 liter barrel. Because they waste more than you could ever imagine. I watch rock cats over there pour next to me, and they just, the girl just stands there and watches that beer <laughs> pour down there. The minute it clears up, they throw the glass under there. For eight ounces of beer, they went through 22 ounces. What I'm doing is I'm watching all this beer being wasted. And Germany didn't mind either. They knocked the top right off the sucker and just filled glasses. Why? No cost. Very little to make beer. No more. Beer costs a lot of money now. Beer, schnapps, people are drinking a lot more because they want to stay out of the liquor venue. Liquor venue gets a little hard. They said you'll go real crazy if you drink three of them. Next thing you know, you're over that limit where they're busting you. Do a few beers and a big sandwich, you're undercover. Ain't that bad, okay? Uh, I, right now, I'd like to take you over and show you the reservation uh, uh, program with, uh, with my man Patty here. We have our computer system here. One, two, three stations. The three stations come all the way in. The main guy is right here who's running the Ramsey station. He's up here, he knows what ticket, he brings it, sets it here, out the door it goes. This system, it keeps track of all my servers. So if you're in a crazy busy night and you don't have sections assigned and you have to give a, give a server a table and you don't know who to give it to and you don't want to overload your servers and everybody makes kind of an equal amount of money. So you say, okay, this, this person here has only four, he has five, so I'd rather give it to this person. This is our reservation list for tonight. And it will say party of three for Anderson, party for ten for Dick Stone. Um, and it, once you click on that table and you greet the customer, it will tell you, okay, Dick Stone is sitting on table 34. Before we used the system, we had, we, all we did was maximum 450 customers a night. <coughs> Since we started using it, we, our numbers grew to 500. As of now, we're looking at around 550 customers.